Thus came the end to every freedom known to Gorgonites. And now the war is coming here, to Gorgon, our home world. And we can either wait patiently, build our reserves, and fashion our weapons, or we can go out to meet it. Now let the battle begin! Games, Brains, and Headbanging Life, Bill. welcome to our flashback series. And we are doing another flashback episode on a PlayStation 1 game. One that is rare, not rare, but like certainly isn't in popular culture, even though it is based off a movie. It is The Game of Small Soldiers, the 90s movie that was based around toys coming to life and fighting. The Gorgonites and the Commando Elite. Um, Famously starred Kirsten Dunst, who's quite young in it. Tommy Lee Jones voiced Major Chip Hazard. Um, I remember as a kid really liking the movie. I watched it as an adult and I really hated it. I really didn't like it. Yeah, very disappointing. I mean, they, it hasn't aged well. I, I, I would love for them to make one now because they, they, they can make a, it can make a, a really dark, proper dark it could be. And it could, it could, be, it could be really good if they if they'd done it the right way. Just watch Toy Story. Well, yeah, well, Just yeah. Just watch yeah. Toy Story. But, Good movies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but Tommy Jones as Chip Hazard, uh, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. <laughs> doesn't do it for me, yeah. <laughs> right, so Small Soldiers, a 1998 action video game based on the film of the same name. It is set in a fantasy world where the Commander Elite are trying to eliminate the Gorgonites and destroy their whole world of Gorgon. Most of the characters are in it, along with new additions of Stench, the Frog Like Gorgonite, and Nibble, the Bat Like Gorgonite and the Commando Elite's machinery, bipad, more and sentry. Players take the role of the cat-like leader, Archer, as he battles against the Commando Elite, trying to save his homeworld, and goes to the war-torn homeworld to defeat the platoon leader, Chip Hazard. Archer is voiced by Greg Berger. Tommy Lee Jones is the only actor who reprised his role for this game. Mm -hmm. As always, things we like, things we don't like, favorite moments, scenes, and bits of music, as if. Right, things we like. Do you want me to start, yeah? 
Yeah, go on, you might as well. Uh, I, it, it's it's going to be such, such a good comment, but I really, I, I really love this game. I really, I, I really enjoy this game, but it's so crap, really. I, I mean, I mean, graphically wise, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Oh, hang on, we, we're doing likes, aren't we? Yeah, I won the likes. Yeah, won the likes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, um, you like yeah, the game? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know why I like it, but it just it just it brings back a lot of memories from from playing it as a kid, you know. And I mean, I, I was playing it literally probably about a week ago just to get really? some. So, yeah, just just because obviously I, I was doing um, the do review for it, so I thought I'd play it again just to get some like, a, a reminder of it. And I, I, I was like, I was I was really enjoying it. I, I was probably getting into it until really? until it froze until, until it froze. And then, then I turned off Langer. Were so. you playing it on the PlayStation or an emulator? Yeah, uh, PlayStation, yeah. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I don't have strong memories of this game. Now, I haven't played it probably since I was a youngster, a teenager. Mm. But I always remember liking it. Uh, so it's not that I've got lots of negative things to say about it. Um, a lot of it's really based around the fact that I think we were attracted to the game because we liked the movie. And we were like, oh, yeah, the game's got to be good. Um, but one of the things I do remember of it, right? This is going to be really weird. I remember the soundtrack being quite good. Yeah. I remember the soundtrack being quite epic and quite upbeat, upbeat up like uplifting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely some levels in that game which, which literally it, it, it starts slow, then it probably goes in, into it like, like probably heavy does. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, the music's really good. Yeah. But I mean, you might have this one, but <laughs> the multiplayer. We, 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 I, mean, I mean, back in our back in our days, we, we we played multiplayer games a lot, and this is one game which we we played a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, catch the flag, uh, just buddy, uh, just uh, the army versus the, the army, uh, the uh, commanders versus the Gorgonites, just literally fighting each other. Was a game we, we played a lot. I mean, we, I'm sure we used to play like uh, four player mode, a lot, or, three, or even three player mode. Yeah. You know? I, ha I do have something about the multiplayer, and it's specifically flag, flag. When I thought about it, and I was like, what do you remember about this game, Carl? Um, flag mode, multiplayer flag mode, one-on-one -on -one flag mode, being mm. a lot of fun. I remember that being a lot of fun. And yeah, I well, guess that's a good memory. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. That's uh, it, I've got uh, else I like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done too. <laughs> Things we don't like then. Um, Easy, the setting. I one of the things I never could understand as a youngster, and I understand less now. Why on earth did they choose to sit, not set this on Earth and have it like a big, like small toys battling out in gardens and stuff like that? Instead, it's set on the Gorgonite homeworld, and it's fucking bland and ugly, uninteresting. Yeah, I I, I can't even think that maybe it was the cost. I don't know. Maybe it, it, it was. Maybe. I mean, you're designing yeah. levels anyway. Why not? But then you just get these horrible, like, overly bland, like, ruins and things like that. Things you see in so many other games. I think they could have done a lot more here. Yeah, I, I mean, I, my one sort of similar, but basically was that the, the, the levels are so similar. Mm-hmm. Literally, every, every, every level was, like you said, it was a horrible, with the horrible walls, the yep. weird portals, holes, uh, and it was just the, the same basis of every level. Find yeah. your guys, find your little praying guys, put them in the little statues, they'll give you a key, go for the door, kill the enemies, and then do it again. It just, it was so repetitive. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, ultimately, it's not a well-designed game. No, no. And although we praise the multiplayer, I have to say as well, I don't like that it's very limited. Two modes, that is it, two modes. Capture the flag, which can be fun, and effectively, deathmatch. That's it. I know yeah. for a game like this, where it's one opposing, like the, the film setup is team versus team. That means you should be trying to make a game that is heavy on the multiplayer. And weirdly yeah. enough, they didn't. Yeah, no, def, def, I mean, oh, oh I love that Command and Cooker style. Game you know, I mean, could, 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 you, could you imagine that, man? A That's good thinking. Yeah, you know, so, um, That's good thinking. Well done, Damon. Well, I, I mean, because you, you had it, um, I don't know if you ever played it, um, uh, 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 real-time strategy game of the um, uh, army men. No, not of the army men, no. Yeah, so yeah, again, they, they made a, a command copy game like that, and it was brilliant. Yeah, it would be. It would be RTS, of course. Um, well, one of the other ones for me was the, the controls. The controls are absolutely terrible. Yeah. I mean, 
it, the controls kind of reminded me of, um, I don't even remember back in the PS1, um, Apocalypse with Bruce Ooh. Willis. Yeah, the yeah. Controls, the controls, it was literally, literally you running sideways and shooting. Like, in one direction, shooting yeah. another. And the jumping. Jumping from one platform to the other, another one was so, so, uh, uh, again, I played it last week and I died so many times just by jumping. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Any more? No, that's it. Favourite moments, scenes, bits of music. Unfortunately, I have nothing to add here. When I think of favourite moments and scenes and bits of music, there's nothing that really jumps out that goes, yeah, this is a really strong memory for me. I've got nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah, again, me neither. I, I mean, I could say my favourite disappointing moments. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I always preferred the Commanders anyway, because I, I, I thought Chip was pretty cool, and Arch is a bit of a, or oh, I don't know what you would say, oh, he's a bit of, he's too, too, he's too good, basically, too good. He's annoying. Really too shoes, yeah. I, I, I would have preferved to control Chip, to be honest, to be honest as, as, as a character. No, but, you didn't get yeah, to Yeah, I, I mean, main disappointing moment was the fact that when you defeat Chip at the end as Archer, so. Fair enough. Yeah. There you go. There's our flashback of the little known small soldiers game from the PlayStation 1. If you played it and you love it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear why. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?